I wasn't expecting this to come up in Thrawn Treason, but the book actually gave us some concrete numbers about hyperspace and the time it takes to travel somewhere. We learned that a Star Destroyer can travel 8 light years in 3.7 minutes, or 3 minutes and 42 seconds. So I thought I'd have some fun and do some math and see how long it would take us to travel our own solar system in a Star Destroyer. So that figure comes out to a speed of 2.16 light years per minute. The distance from Earth to the Sun is 93 million miles, or 0 .000016 light years, so it would take 0 .0004 seconds to get there. The diameter of our entire solar system is 0 .0012 light years, so from end to end you could make that journey in 0 .03 seconds. Thrawn has always been big on making micro hyperspace jumps, but that's absurd. Obviously, in Star Wars, we see hyperspace being used to reach completely different solar systems. The closest star to our own, Proxima Centauri, is 4.3 light years away. That would take us just under two minutes to reach through hyperspace. The Milky Way galaxy is said to be 52,850 light years in radius, or 105,700 light years in diameter. So if we wanted to travel all the way across it, it should take us about 49,000 minutes, or 815 hours, or 34 days. According to Leia, Princess of Alderaan, the Star Wars galaxy is approximately the same size as our own, listed at over 100,000 light years. Legends listed it at about 120,000 light years. Knowing more about how fast hyperspace is, I actually think that could be a reasonable explanation for how the First Order didn't simply jump in front of the Resistance and cut them off in The Last Jedi. Even the tiniest jump into hyperspace would take them across a solar system, and then they'd have to use sublight engines to find their way back. An Imperial Star Destroyer's sublight engines are said to travel at a max of 975 kilometers per hour in atmosphere. The physics are different in space because they would be constantly accelerating, and the last time I took a physics class was 13 years ago, and my brain had to delete that file to make room for trivia about the courtship of Princess Leia, so I have no idea how to do that math anymore. But I do know it would take 33,600 years to cross the solar system at 975 kilometers per hour. Again, it wouldn't take that long with the constant acceleration of space. I'm just trying to say jumping into hyperspace even for a tenth of a second to turn around and go back at sublight doesn't sound all that realistic. But here's the point of the video where I have to tell you that none of this matters. I don't think Timothy Zahn including a figure like this in Thrawn Treason means we now have definitive proof of how hyperspace works. I think this was a fun exercise, but hyperspace isn't meant to be scientific or mathematic. The best way I've seen hyperspace explained is to say that it takes as long as a story needs it to take. Look at the trip from Tatooine to Alderaan. The traveling scene of Han saying they escaped the Star Destroyers to arriving in the Alderaan system takes just under four minutes minutes. Using our previous math, that should mean Alderaan is about eight and a half light years away, but according to this map, they traveled nearly halfway across the entire galaxy. By my calculations, it should have taken them about 14 days. And that's kind of the point of hyperspace. It's basically magic, meant to allow characters to quickly visit a variety of planets. It doesn't adhere to any actual laws of physics or math. It's a completely separate dimension from real space. Hyperspace is just the reason people in Star Wars can travel the galaxy. The more you try to analyze it, the less it makes sense. I had fun making this video, but it should in no way be taken seriously, or like some rule that Star Wars now has to follow. But still, I hope you enjoyed this. If there are any other questions about Star Wars you have, leave them in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.